welcome back. Effie review problem. Another economics problem. <clears throat> if $600 is invested at the end of each year for six years at an interest rate of 7%, what is the amount in the account after the sixth deposit? Which one are you going to pick? All right. Ready, set, go. Push pause. Okay, you back? Did you solve it? Let's see if we can do it. Number one, 7% is weird. Okay, it's not weird, but it's not in our tables, is it? Our tax tables, right, in your, in your reference manual, you have an 8% table, you have a 6% table, dead gum, don't have a 7% table. So when you have a table that are just one, 2% maximum separated from each other, you can just use interpolation and use the tables. Because we can solve this one or two ways. We can use the table or we can use the equation. Let's use the table and just interpolate, okay? So here's what we need. First, we need to write our factor. So we have $600 invested every year. That sounds like an A, doesn't it? Okay. So we want to know what is the future, to future amount, F equals A times F given A 7% six years. Okay. Yuck. That marker is terrible. Okay. Let's get this blue one here. Okay. That's our factor. This is the factor that we need right there. Okay. Uh, F is what we're looking for. A is 600. So let's see if we can find that factor right there. So we can look up F given A at 8%. We can look up F given A at 6%. And then we just choose, choose the number in between those two, don't we? So I'm going to go to the 8% table, F given uh, A, F given A, where's F given A? There it is, 6%, 7.3359, okay? And then at 6%, at 6%, F given A for six years, 6.9753. Okay, how do you interpolate? Well, get your calculator. And the easiest thing to do for me is just, is uh, let's see, enter, 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 enter. Let me, it's to clear your calculator. It's just subtract this one from this one, right? So 7.3359 minus 6.9753 equals 0.3606. Divide that by 2, right? That's the difference in there. Divided by 2 is halfway, right? That's 0 0.1803. And then just add 0 0.1803 bloop, to 6.9753. And that gives me 7.1556. 7.1556. That's my factor. And again, that's an interpolated number. You're going to get a more accurate number if you use the formula, okay? But for me, that's easy to look them up in the book. Let's take that number, dupe times 600 equals. And that should be my answer. F is equal to 42.93 and some change, right? So do we have that answer over there? Whoop! Right there, answer B. Did you get it? All right, see you on the next video.